Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Satan Jay. We're back with another YouTube video. Hey, what's up, guys? So, yeah, I bet you already read the title. The title said is, Am I Ever Going to Detransition? And I'm going to tell you yes or no. So, yeah, I can read the future. I know I know what's going to happen. Before I get started, I do want to say, go check out the description below. It has all my social media. It also has my 10% discount link to an FTM shop called Imbecile. Go check them out. You have to use the link down in the description for it. It's not like a code. I know it's different. Usually I get a code, but no, this time it's a link. So you have to click that link to get a 10% discount code. It helps me. It helps you. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So yeah, we're talking about detransition. I think I'm just going to start off straight off the bat with a story. Okay. I'm going to start off right with the story. I do want to say disclaimer, no hate on anyone. You know, this is my opinion. I'm not hating on uh, the detransition errs. I'm not hating on um, any of you guys. If like you guys don't believe in something I say, this is m my, um, and I, I love in the comments say, nobody asked, nobody asked. This is my channel. So I'm going to make what I want to make. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to try my best not to like offend anyone, but I don't think it will. This is just my opinion. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off with the story. So I had a best friend in high school. It was me and this person. I'm just going to call them like they, them, or a person, you know, uh, because I don't know their um, their gender, like what they want to be called. I think last time I knew they did transition, you know, and that's the last thing I ever heard of them. I, we don't talk anymore. We were high school besties, you know, and obviously I didn't go to, I went to high school like five years ago. Uh, so it's been a while. So let's get right into it. So. You know, I was in high school. I came out in high school, you know, like to, to everyone there uh, and everything like that. And then this friend. And one thing why I kind of knew they weren't trans is they didn't. They were my best friend, my best friend ever. You know, like I would die for this one person back in the day. And they didn't they didn't call me the right gender. And they, they messed up all the time. And they called me the wrong name all the time. And it wasn't until they called me the right name and pronoun. Like they weren't hating on me. It's just hard for them, which... I understand it's hard for people, like, if, you know, like, I want to say something really quick to the slammer, like, I know it's hard for people to, um, say the right gender and pronouns for some people, but if you are trans, it's easier. Like me, since I am trans, I know how it feels, and I, I understand it more, and I think about what I say before I say it. So, like, if someone comes up to me, you know, and they don't pass completely male, but they say, hey, I want to be called this. I, Allison might mess it up, but I won't because I am trans. I know how it feels. I know how, like, I know that you don't have to look like a guy to be a guy, look like a girl, you know, like all that kind of things, you know? I see a lot of cis men that look pretty feminine, you know? Like, it's not, it's not about looks. So I know how to approach someone that is trans, you know, if that makes sense. But yeah, let's get right into it. So they did not support me. Like, they did support me, but they cannot, they didn't use the right name, right pronouns, nothing. So, like, they were pretty much attacking me. But I know, I knew they were friends with me and they weren't trying to be rude. But, like, I, it, like, but then when they came out, so then they came out, you know, like, next thing you know, um, they had a chat with me and said, hey, I, I feel like I'm trans as well. I'm a trans guy. So, we're both female to male. And guess what? I used the right pronouns two seconds. Never messed it up, you know. Never messed it up. They kept the same name. They only changed their middle name. Um, so, it was pretty easy on the name. But, like, the the gender was so easy i called him he 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 you know um and so yeah and then you know they came out to their parents i came out to my parents you know my parents did not support me uh they came out to their parents their parents loved them even more like like their parents were like everything like okay let's go do this let's go do this let's go to pride let's do this like it was like it was cute you know it was cute like that's what i was like i cry every time at my house hearing that i'm like damn like they have an amazing family who loves them for who they are. But the only thing is we're, we're, we're you know, like 15, 16, 17, you know, like we're still high schoolers. Um, and they went to therapy, like literally in the next month they went to therapy. Okay, cool. But one thing about therapists, guys, this is how I know sometimes therapists are, I don't know, like obviously they're just there to get their money. They're there to do their job because two things, first of all, they're not brain testing you or anything. They're literally asking you questions. Like, if you're a good actor, you could go in there and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm trans. Yep, this, this, this. Because they, all they did was that. And then next thing you know, I got, I, got, I got a letter right away. But I also was 19 when I went and got my testosterone. So also, I was an adult. So I think my therapist didn't really care. She was kind of like, you're an adult. You can do your own thing, you know. Because uh, I got it right away. I only went like two, three, four times, you know. And, and all of it was only like 30 to an hour. And... I just talked about my life and then she signed a paper and said you're trans that's pretty much it but remember uh this person my best friend you know 
was only like 15, 16, 17, you know, around there. I don't know exactly what age. I know it was, it was high school, you know, and they started hormones in high school, you know, right away, right away. They started hormones, you know, um, I, I was out before them and I'm not, I didn't do anything. Nothing was my body yet. I was nothing. Uh, mostly because my fa my parents didn't support, but, uh, cause if they did, I probably would have like, not going to lie, but I am glad I got more time to think, you know, and then next thing you know, uh, they're talking about top surgery already. They actually went to a consultation, but then, you know, uh, I talked to them and they're like, actually I backed out and that was already like a red flag. Like, why would you back out? You know, you've always talked about getting it. It's because, you know, they, they transitioned so quick that they didn't actually get to think if they are a trans or there's all different kinds, you know, like you don't have to be a trans guy to get all the surgeries. You can do whatever you want with your body, you know, and maybe they have like some kind of dysphoria, but not complete. I don't know. You know how it works. I do think you need any kind, like some kind of dysphoria to be trans. I do think that a hundred percent because dysphoria is, you have to, I, I don't know. I think you do have to, I'll put the, put, uh, what dysphoria means, um, and, and that's kind of the story, but I didn't even, re I didn't even transition, so I left my parents at 18, didn't even transition then, I had to wait, I wanted to get money, I wanted to get everything, then I went to a therapist at 19, got testosterone at 19, got, got top surgery at 21, and now I'm 22 years old, and that's why I'm not going to detransition. I transition when I'm an adult. I think everyone should be able to transition when they're an adult. I think when you're a kid, I don't. I think maybe hormone blockers, because that's not really doing anything. That's kind of just blocking your hormones. But I don't know. Like if I had a kid, obviously, I think you should be able to socially transition as a kid. But starting testosterone and things, like I've seen so many people like go through it as a young kid and then they regret it when they get older because they obviously you're still a kid, you know. And maybe maybe since their best friend me came out as trans they thought to only fit in with me they had to come out too i don't know i don't know um because i don't know how it worked but obviously if your best friend comes out trans maybe you would want to come out trans i don't know um they were also like uh oh wait actually i was gonna say they're also like a tomboy but they actually were kind of girly girl for a bit um but i think they're still like more of a tomboy than a girly girl but, like, just because you're a tomboy doesn't mean anything. But then I do hate when people say, well, why don't you just be um, a masculine lesbian? It's uh, People need to understand sexuality and gender are two different things, you know? Um, masculine lesbian means you you are a girl, you know, but you date girls. And I don't like the term lesbian for me, because obviously, because I, I date anyone, you know? Uh, I'll date you. I don't date you for your gender. I date you for who you are as a person, you know? You feel me? You feel me? Uh, I would never date a lesbian, though. I Other trans guys might, but I think that is kind of, like, attacking. Like, if you date a lesbian, that's weird because that means you're a, that means you're a girl because lesbians only date girls. But it's all labels. It's all labels. So, I mean, it's whatever. Um, but that's what I want to say is I want to say I'm not going to detransition because I waited till I was older. I paid all out of my money. No one else's health care. No one else's anything like that. I paid completely out of pocket for everything you see. And I love when people are like, bro, you're going to detransition someday. Oh, I feel bad for you. You need Jesus. It's like, it's my money though. Like, I'm not wasting your money. I didn't waste my daddy's money. No, this was all my money. Everything I've done with my body. Yeah, I've, I put a lot of money in my body. Like this was already 7k. Uh, I, I think we had to pay for medicine separate at Walmart. So plus the medicine we had to pay for, for top surgery. Um, and then, you know, all the testosterone I take for three years, every vial's five bucks plus, um, and, um, syringes are like five bucks for like a big bag, you know, for like six months or so. But yeah, I've spent like probably well over like 10 K for this, but you know, I'm happy with it and I love myself and I know I'm never going to be trans because I still look in the mirror and I'm just fucking happy. It's like, I looked in the mirror and I literally cried every day. I cannot look at my body, but now like, I mean, I still have bottomless for you. Obviously I want to go through the full transition if I get money someday to get bottom surgery but yeah like every time I look at my chest it's like the first time ever seeing actually the first time ever seeing my chest I was kind of iffy about it because my nipples are big my nipples are still kind of big um when they get hard though like they like they shrink up when they get cold uh they do look a lot better but they are a little bigger uh but you know I every time I see it, I'm like hey bro like it's, it's awesome you know uh I'm really happy with my chest I'm really happy with my facial hair I just love looking at myself in the mirror like I look awesome I love myself bro um and it's just like detransition no hate no hate for the detransitioners um 
love everyone. Everyone's human. Everyone should get the same respect. I just think the one thing I do not like, not about them, but about detransitioning is the haters. One hater sees one detransitioner and thinks everyone in the world is going to detransition. And that's the part that hates. Like, you get it? It's like, who cares? Like, one person detransitioned is because, you know, they made a mistake. They went down the wrong path. They just should have waited a little longer. Like me, I waited so long. I had so much time to think. Also, another thing was having uh, unsupported family helped me. Because if you have someone like, you know why it helped me? It's like, I went off the high dive the other day. I would not have went off the high dive, okay? I would have not. I went all the way up there. I was so scared for my life. I was up there for like an hour. I could not jump off. I just kept saying, you go, you go. Um, and you know the reason why I did jump off? everyone i've been up there for like an hour so everyone was watching you know and i just kept saying you can go you can go and everyone looked at me and this one girl started cheering like go go jump jump and then everyone it was like a movie everyone started cheering for me on the high dive jump 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 and i jumped why did i jump peer pressure i mean i'm glad i jumped like uh, it was awesome you know i jumped off the high dive like i've always wanted to do that but it was peer pressure. If they didn't, they did not scream, I would have walked back down. But knowing that all of them are ch cheering for me, if I walked down, everyone there would have been like, oh, what the hell, boo, like you didn't jump. So that's another thing I think is sometimes if you do have parents, some parents want to like totally support you that they, instead of like, instead of like letting you choose on yourself, they kind of like force you into it and be like, you're going to do this. Like, come on, we're going to get you on testosterone. Yes, we are. No, instead of saying we're going to, you should be like, if you want testosterone, you know, we can go to the therapist and we can talk. But sometimes I think uh, parents might, like parents that want to support, like not in a rude way. This is my opinion. And a good example of what I was trying to say out of all this, uh, if you didn't really understand, was uh, have you ever watched Loved Victor? Loved Victor came out to his mom. His mom did not support him at all. And then his mom, you know, tried to support him. And then she finally did support him for being gay. And when she did, she kind of overdid it. And nonstop, she'd be texting Victor, telling Victor, hey, there's this, um, there's this parent I know who has a gay son. I'm gonna hook you up with him. It's like, it's kind of saying that, like, she's forcing him now to, like, date guys and everything, and it's like, he is gay, but he's not attracted to every single guy, you know? And that's what I'm kind of trying to say, is, uh, sometimes your parents might be like, oh, I support him, I support him. How do I support a trans person? Like, because they don't know. They never supported a trans person before. How do I support them? Oh, they want testosterone? All right, uh, yeah, let's get you on it. You know, kind of something like that. Like, I don't think they mean it in a bad way to, like, make you start without you completely being ready. I think it's kind of like uh, they don't know how they think that it's the right thing, if that makes sense. I hope, I hope I'm making sense. But by my parents... I wasn't getting that. I was getting hate. I was get, my parents were saying, you don't need a two transition. You're too dumb to even know. Like I told her a couple words. My, um, I literally said this to my, um, not my adopted mom, my, uh, by a lot my, my stepmother, I said a big word. It was like something about transitioning or like cisgender, not, uh, transgender, something like that. I said something like that. You know, the difference is I want to talk to her again. I'm like, okay, let's get her. Cause if I can get my stepmother, I can get my, my, can get my adopted dad because the stepmother is always the bitch that like it has to go through her, you know, even though she's not my mom, it has to go through her, and so I try to, and then one day she's like, you're too dumb to even know that word, do you even know how to spell it, or something like that, because I am slow, I am, I'll limit that, but then after that, I stopped with her, but she said that to me, and it's like, n having that negativity to me, it's like, people don't want me to transition, like, it's a bad thing to transition, you know, in my family, it was, um, and so it kind of gave me a thing where I want to, but then I, I so like, you know, it's like pushing back and forth, like, I actually had to choose between my mom and dad, or being myself, and I chose myself, um, and I think that's kind of why it was, like, easier for me to find myself, you know, because I actually had someone, like, trying to attack me for it, if that makes sense, um, and yeah, this is kind of just my opinion, uh, I'm not trying to hit on anyone, I hope you guys still are here, I hope you guys comment down below your guys' opinions, because I love your, everyone's opinions, you know, don't attack me, I don't attack to you, it's just, like, your opinions, you know, everyone should have their own opinions, uh, that's what life is. Everyone should be able to speak the way they want to speak, live the way they want to live. And this is the way I want to live. And people just need to respect that. You know, I'm never going to detransition in my entire life. And if, if let's just say if, that 1%, if I do, is, was it your money? I mean, if it was your money, I would understand. But it's not. This is my money, you know. So if somehow I detransition, it's, it's my money, bro. Who cares? Do you feel me? 
Um, and you know, I've never been more happy. Like I can actually look in the mirror and just smile and look at myself and like, I can like, I, I don't know, I just love it. And like, you can already tell, go to my Instagram, Clayton J Reeves on Instagram. You can see when I used to post back in the day, not that many posts. And I don't have not deleted any of my posts. And then you can just see now I'm like, I'm even doing like shirtless pictures. I'm doing like pictures of my underwear because I feel comfortable. Obviously I have not had bottom surgery, but wearing a Packer does help out a lot. And it makes me happy, you know? And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope I covered everything. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me this far. I hope I still get your guys' support after this video. It was no hate to anyone. It was kind of just like me talking to the haters because the haters keep saying like, I keep getting comments, you know, or like I go live on um, TikTok lately and they keep being like, you're going to detransition. Why are you even doing this? Blah, blah, blah. But it's like, you don't understand. And this is like the full version, you know, 14 minute version. Uh, but love every single one of you guys. I hope you guys stay safe. And yeah, and I know how I said um, you, I want, I think you should be 18 or older to start testosterone or um, top surgery. Obviously, people can start whenever they want. I just think it is easier to think, like to have all that time as a kid to think about it, you know. Um, but obviously, it's up to you guys, it's up to your parents. Like, it's not up to me at all. So if you guys are like, wait, I want to start when I'm 16. Oh, F you for saying that. No, no, no. I mean, you can start whenever you want. I just think, like, I am pretty proud that I had unsupported family because then I had time to think more about it, which obviously, like, look, I'm I'm happy I should have started later, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's life. Live it the way you want to live. I love every single one of you guys, and just stay safe, be happy, and live your life the way you want to live. Hey, see you guys.